This is your Weather Extreme video for Friday, August the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and uh, the unsettled weather continues, plus the tropics have become quite active. There's a look at our sky cam from Mount Chiha this morning, and certainly a, kind of a nice shot. It's places that got rain, though, like Hamilton yesterday, uh, some of uh, those spots are in the fog this morning, as you can see from this sky cam shot up around Hamilton. We're still dealing with general high pressure at the surface, but that with a lot of boundaries and a northwesterly upper flow pattern, that uh, upper flow pattern allowing for little disturbances to slide down the eastern side of the ridge to our west, and uh, those disturbances producing clusters of thunderstorms. And we have one of those going on this morning, as you can see from radar. Uh, we have actually a couple of them, one uh, across the uh, parts of Kentucky and uh, upper middle Tennessee, you might say, plus one coming across western Tennessee. And that one across uh, western Tennessee likely to affect uh, much of the western half of Alabama during the day today. So showers and thunderstorms once again likely. If you get under one of the showers, you're likely to get anywhere from about a half to one inch of rain in a relatively short period of time. I received about 85 hundredths in one shower yesterday. So just a typical example. While we do not expect to organize severe weather with this, there is a possibility of isolated uh, some isolated severe weather, primarily in the form of uh, damaging wind from this, as you can see from the sea text. The main focus for severe weather is a slight risk across the uh, upper uh, Midwest area ahead of a fairly significant trough that is going to be uh, kind of keeping the system kind of status quo, you might say, with a minor change. And then uh, the slight risk on day two, Saturday moves into the uh, Great Lakes area. And as I say, the tropics have become rather active. We have Ernesto on the board now. Ernesto moving rather quickly and uh, not in an area real favorable for development, but the um, favorable conditions become... Uh, um, more impact uh, the storm as it gets into the Western Caribbean. Plus, we have another one out there that has just come off the African coast. There's a look at the track, uh, projected track the, uh, from the National Hurricane Center, keeping it a tropical storm uh, until it gets in the vicinity of Jamaica on uh, early Monday morning. And then it could become a hurricane, and there's some uh, possibilities that this could become a major hurricane, so we'll have to be watching that. Of course, when it gets into the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico is usually the next stop, and the models, uh, uh, the spread uh, <coughs> across the models, as you can see here, definitely becoming bigger than they were yesterday, uh, as there's some uncertainty. And I have uh, some real concerns about the future track, so at this point, uh, the GFS is suggesting the Western Gulf. I'm not too confident in that. I'm thinking more the possibility of uh, the Eastern Gulf, but let's not uh, do uh, too far out here and too much speculation. The bottom line is the Gulf needs to be aware and we need to be watching it. All right, modeling this morning, there's the 06Z GFS model run, and again, we've got these little disturbances that are uh, coming through the flow and those disturbances helping to set off additional showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, we see that our weakness in the upper pattern stays with us, and so we still have these dis little disturbances. In the meantime, the bigger uh, trough uh, closed low up over the, mid uh, the upper Midwest, moving across the Dakotas and into the western Great Lakes. That's the focus for much of the severe weather, and but we stay in a rather unsettled pattern with showers and thunderstorms in our area. The, the weakness kind of tries to fill in, as, as we've been talking about much of this week, that uh, the Bermuda High and the ridge to our west try to get together, but that big trough over the Great Lakes is, is keeping that from happening. And so that um, opens things back up on Monday to the... Troughiness over the eastern half of the country, pushing the Bermuda High kind of back to the uh, east somewhat and, and nudging the, the uh, ridge to our west back. And uh, that brings a cold front down into the area. So once again, the possibility that we'll see likely shower chances on uh, Monday with the presence of that front in our area. By Tuesday, uh, you can see that the weakness is still there um, and the troughiness over the eastern half of the country, so we stay unsettled. We stay unsettled on Wednesday as well and even into Thursday, and now you're beginning to see the reflections of uh, what the GFS is suggesting is Ernesto in the vicinity of the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, I really think that um, we, we've got to watch Ernesto being picked up 
by the weakness over the eastern half of the country. And it's going to be a question of which is going to be influencing which one the most. So it's a Gulf. It looks like it's going to be a Gulf storm, and definitely we need to be watching for the possibilities there. As I say, the GFS is one of the ones that is suggesting that by Friday the storm will be in the uh, Western Gulf. I'm not completely set on this. I mean, this could certainly happen, but you can see that uh, definitely uh, a major uh, or possibility of a major hurricane in the Western Gulf. And then if we go out into voodoo country, uh, the GFS is once again back to the notion that we're going to see the ridge expand uh, over the eastern half of the country once again. And um, <laughs> again, I'm not too confident in that either because we've been seeing some flipping and some flopping. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing tomorrow morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog. I hope your Friday is a good one, and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>